the notion of being able to put on a recording of a great artist in your home was something totally new. So classical music and classical artists become much more popular. This is a really profound transformation. It was really a part of mass culture. By the early 1920s, record companies were popularizing new styles of music and targeting specific markets, including racial and ethnic groups. So the artist and repertoire department at Victor was primed when they heard of an exciting young black singer. On the 10th of December, 1923, Marian Anderson was led into a recording studio at Victor's New Jersey headquarters, where she positioned herself in front of a recording horn as the small orchestra crowded in around her. Anderson always sang a group of what were called Negro spirituals in her concerts. Arrangements by black composers of the religious songs that had given solace to their forebears. They had never before been recorded by a major American label. What Marian Anderson did, along with Roland Hayes in the 1920s and 30s, was really popularize African American spirituals and bringing them to white audiences. At a time when black women and black musicians were just so denigrated. <laughs> 